Now in this video we're going to be discussing briefly market research and conversation research. Now this is going not going to be an extensive tutorial but it will give you the opportunity to look at some websites that you can go to to determine what you should be talking about. You do need to have bait to attract people back to your website. Whether or not you're going to be writing blog posts or whether or not you're going to be doing videos not only do you need to be talking about those the right things on your website to keep people there you need to be writing those things and putting those things um, across the internet to draw people back to you some of this some of these things are going to be products you're going to be creating going to be courses you're going to be create creating all these things will lend themselves to people wanting to come back to your website so but you need to find out what people want to know you need to find out what they're thinking about what they're talking about and what they're concerned about one of the ways in which you do that is you are going to want to use Google suggest we're going to be talking about this later in the course but when you go to Google and you start by typing in the first few words of your search if I was to put low carb diet in there you're gonna see some other suggestions that Google would be giving the searcher now this is an indication that these are things that people are searching for therefore they're relevant topics these are in real time you are going to look at keyword tools you're gonna to look at some other things that will tell you basically what the keyword research has been over time but these are real-time results you're looking at and that's why you want to make sure that you look at them even if for no other reason to make a comparison to with what you find here with some of the other sources that you're going to be looking at in this video you can do the same thing in youtube.com and youtube.com we're going to do the very same thing we're just going to type in the few first few words of our search and then we're going to get some suggestions once again these are searches that are done in real time so you get the opportunity to find out what people are searching for and then you can then adjust what it is you're going to be using as bait what it is you're going to be creating your course about what it is you're going to be creating your blog post about I'm going to look at Google News also and this is something that sometimes it's so basic that we don't look at them before we start looking to create content this is where you gonna find the relevant content you'll find about what people are reading about you'll find out what people are discussing even if it's online so you will want to then put in here your search term because if there's something recent that has happened you will want to know about it so we're going to search the news for our term and you want to continue to find those terms that are relevant and then you want to put them back into Google News as you find new terms you're going to come back here and find out what the news is is there something that just happened is there some celebrity that really has started to let's say if you're if you're working with a product has there is there a new celebrity that's working with your product you do want to find out what is going on in the news Google News is a great way to do that One thing that you can look at is Google Books Ingram Viewer. It will take a look at all the words in books over the course of a specific period of time. Now, this is not done in real time. It's not always done most recently, but you can find out going back into time what people have written about. So it's another way of doing research, not necessarily cutting edge, but it is a way of confirming what people are talking about and thinking about naturally you will want to do a search in Amazon you'll want to find out what the best sellers are you want to find out what people are buying this will always give you an indication of where people's hearts and minds are and it will give you ideas on things you should be talking about creating and offering so Amazon is yet another place where you must do research to find out Amazon is the biggest probably the biggest online retailer in the world you do want to find out what it is that people are buying and what his people are doing when they're at Amazon if you want to know what the conversations are in message boards and online forums you can use a site called OMG ILI now there are other sites that are similar to this one 
I think there's one called Board Tracker. They range in what they do. OMG ILI is probably the most the most well known. You're going to put your search term inside of their bar and you're just going to do a search and you will find out what has been talked about over the specific period of time. Was there anything that was talked about over the last day in message boards? And you can go backwards in time, right? You can go past the past year, past month, past year, all time. So you do want to use this because this will determine where people have discussed things inside of private forums. And there's really not necessarily another way in order to do this kind of search. So it's a great way of finding out what's going on inside of the message boards. Yahoo Answers is a great way to find out what people have questions about and we're willing to type in online. And when you go to Yahoo Answers, you are going to find the questions that people are asking and that they are trying to get answers for from other internet users. Now, it's not an exact way to do research, but you will find out what people genuinely have questions are and what their you know what the answers and discussion are so you'll see and the the subjects range so we're not just talking about internet marketing we're talking about probably subjects other than internet marketing because these are people that are coming to the internet for specific answers and they they found that uh, people will come to Yahoo answers because they want to give answers to position themselves as experts now so you will want to do your research now in, in addition to that if you want to answer some of the questions that Yahoo answers, that's a great way to get traffic back to your website. But if you want to find out what people are discussing and have questions about, use Yahoo Answers. Google has a marketing research page called Think with Google. If you want to find out where marketing research is, this is a little different. You're going to find topics that are written about by professionals, but Every so often you will find your subject matter in here and you will figure out or you will find out what is being done in the way of marketing products and services like those that you may be thinking about. So using Think with Google is another way of getting more intelligence on what people are or how people are marketing, how people are selling a particular, uh, particular line of products or services. Last but not least, you will be determining what keywords people are using when they type into Google when they do a search. And this is the AdWords keyword tool. You're probably very familiar with it. You've been doing marketing any length of time. And you will be typing in the keywords, your basic terms. You can find out what related keywords people are looking at, what related terms people are actually using. This is, once again, it's probably one of the things that it's a, it's a necessary thing, but you still need to do all of the other ways. You still need to take a look at all those other ways because they will give you real-time information. What you're looking at in the Keyword Planner is not real-time information. It's the information that Google is giving advertisers to help them to advertise effectively but it's not necessarily going to give you real-time information in order for you to create content and bait to get people back to your website. So, of course, you will use the Google Keyword Planner, and of course, you'll do that, but make sure that you're using these other things that we have discussed in this video. So that's it for your market research, uh, keyword research. You can actually use this in order to narrow down your niche, you can narrow down your topic area, and you can create bait to get people back to your site. With that, thanks. I will see you in the next video.